Hey guys, um, sorry if the lighting gets weird when I put books over here because the sun is setting and yeah, I don't know what's happening. Um, but this is part two of my summer wrap up. I realized that I wasn't really talking about the books that I read and September is going by pretty darn quick. So I want to make sure I wrap up all the books that I read before the end of September. Um, so these are the next five things that I read. Uh, I think there's going to be two more parts. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so um, the next thing that I read um, was Aesop's uh, The Dolphins, the Whales, and the Gudgeon, which is number 61 in the Pen Penguin um, Little Black Classic series. And it's translated by Robert and Olivia Temple. And this was amazing. I gave it five out of five stars. I had previously tried to read um, Aesop's Fables on my Kindle. And it wasn't really working for me. I think it's the translation. Um, but I thought these were absolutely fantastic every single one like the you know because they're they're little fables with morals at the end of the story uh it was it was just perfect I really I want to get like a big like the full edition of Aesop's fables because I just absolutely adored this uh the next book that I read was Quarantine in the Grand Hotel by Geno Rejdo um, which is published by Corvina. I tried looking up this online and I couldn't find it available online, so it makes me kind of nervous because I want to get more of this author's works. Um, and this is translated by Estvan Farkas. Uh, yeah, this is printed in Hungary, so I don't know. Well, we'll try to find out in the future. But this was this is great, too. I think I gave this three out of five stars. It's a really fun um, little murder mystery um, I'm going to redo the back because I feel like that gives, like, the best whatever of... Because just, like, so much stuff happens in this book. Um, so, let me think. Quarantine in the Grand Hotel centers around a mysterious murder in a hotel on the island of Little Lago Lagonda, which is put under quarantine because one of the guests seems to have contracted bubonic plague. However, just before the quarantine is declared, the police arrive, and so does a young man who hides in his pajamas in the wardrobe of Miss Maud Borkman. It turns out that of the numerous guests under quarantine, any number could have committed the murder the police have come to investigate, including the stranger in pajamas and Maud, as well as a prince and a janitor, even a police officer. Hilarious mayhem abounds all around as the true identities of the hotel guests come to light and the stranger in pajamas finally gets to take a hot bath and lays hold of some clothes, which is really funny. It opens with the guy in pajamas, Maud comes back to her hotel room and she finds him. And she wants him to escape, but he's wearing pajamas and she doesn't want to seem indecent because I think this is, yeah, he was alive from 1905 to 1943. So this book was in 1930. It was, uh, maybe, I think it was back then. So she just didn't want to seem indecent with the guy leaving her room in his pajamas, but he doesn't have any clothes other than his pajamas. So it's just absolutely hilarious. All of the characters have massive amounts of secrets and they all kind of like get um discovered as the story goes on I absolutely loved this three out of five stars <laughs> um and then the next oh yeah see it just got like super dark when I looked down I don't know anyways um the next thing that I read was We Shall Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie I gave this five out of five stars this is absolutely wonderful you've probably heard of this it's um basically a transcription of her um TED talk and this is great. I think that every single person should read this book. It's very important. Go read it. Mm -hmm. And it's so short. Or you can watch it. I've heard that, I haven't seen it, but I've heard that uh, she's very, very powerful when she speaks, so it probably would be also good to watch it. And the next thing, which I actually forgot to mention in my book haul for Europe because my boyfriend was hiding it in his backpack, um, the next thing I finished was Down and Out in Paris and London uh, by George Orwell. Uh, this was crazy. <laughs> this it talks about uh, George, well, it doesn't talk about, George Orwell speaks of his time when he was living in Paris and London and not basically like having very much money and so the things that he had to do to survive and how he like almost died, like, you know, starvation and the things that the homeless people would do to like get cigarettes and make money and just to do things and I thought it was really, really interesting. Um, I loved this, so I'm excited to read more George Orwell. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is Fame by Daniel Kelman, which was translated by Carol Brown Janeway. This was so good. I gave this five. Oh, wait. 
I gave this four out of five stars. I don't know if I remember telling you. I gave this five out of five stars. This was so good. This, it's a short story collection, I suppose. Um, but they're all kind of connected, not really. Like some of them, like the same characters happen in multiple. And there's one that's super meta where the character, um, the woman, she's about to die. She has uh, cancer and it's inoperable. So she's going to like Switzerland to, you know, kill herself basically and then she's talking to the author like you know you, this is your story you can let me live da, da, da. and he says like no 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 so the the protagonist of the story is speaking with the author and they're having a dialogue in the story and I don't know I just loved this I didn't realize what was happening at first and maybe I shouldn't have told you um it was really good <laughs> so like you it, I can't it's so good it's really good. And Jonathan Franzen blurbs it on the cover. So, you know, it's got to be a good one. I've never read Jonathan Franzen, but I know he's super popular. Um, Rosalie Goes After Die is the one that I was speaking of. They were they were all really good, though. I wish I could remember. I think my favorite's the first one, Voices, which is a guy who gets telephone calls. And yes, it's just really good. Please go read this. Um, so yeah, those were the next five things that I read while I was on my vacation. I'll do hopefully like a part three instead of a Friday reads because I'm doing the, um, this lighting is so weird, uh, the book buddy a -thon, so I'm not going to be doing a Friday read, so maybe I'll do part two this Friday instead. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the books that I read or if you've read them and you want to talk about them, let me know.